Okay, <clears throat> here we are for take two. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate that very much. Something to remember me by, okay? And something for me to remember you by. When I watch this video when I'm 80 years old, I'll remember this day. Everybody's a little bit more awake, though, aren't, aren't you? Which is a good thing. <clears throat> now, this is the story. In San Francisco, there's a very famous hill called Knob Hill. It's famous for being, it's like a, it's like a San Francisco version of Spring Lake. It had these multi-million dollar houses, and that is in 1890s money. So you had these enormous houses that, uh, that were on a hill called Knob Hill, and very, very wealthy people lived there. I've been to San Francisco, as I said before, and I don't really remember Knob Hill, but I'm sure that I was there. I just don't remember. It was 40 years ago. <coughs> but I remember being in San Francisco very clearly. Okay. Now, there's a, hot, there's, a, there's a hot dog vendor, and they're kind of hanging out on Knob Hill. I'm sure that his, his presence there is greatly appreciated. Okay? But anyway, his, his cart, the, the brakes fail on his cart, and, and they come down from Knob Hill. And there's a hill, San Francisco is very hilly, okay? very hilly. And when it gets to the top of the next hill, we'll call Hill A, it's moving 8 meters per second, correct? Then it comes down that hill comes down 50 meters, and then goes up the next hill, which is 30 meters, correct? We'll call that hill B, correct? Now, let's say the cart is very heavy. I'm not going to tell you the mass yet, okay? You tell me when you want to know the mass, okay? Now. Okay, I'm not telling you now. <laughs> you let me know when you feel that you need the mass, okay? Now, we're going to say that this is going to be the initial velocity of the car. That's where we're going to start it from, start the problem from, okay? And then we want to know what the final card velocity is. This is the end point. So those are the two points that we're picking. The instantaneous velocity, instantaneous velocity of the cart at point A is 8 meters per second, which is pretty fast. That's, that's pretty fast. That's faster than most people can run, old, older folks especially, okay? And so it's going, to, it's going to go up there. So can you imagine what it was, how fast it was going down here? It must have been like really moving, yeah. right? really moving. So, so that's another problem. Maybe we'll do that problem. We'll extend this problem a little bit and do that. Okay. And then it's going to come down this hill starting at 8 meters per second, and we want to know the final velocity on hill B. Now, what equation, what equation from our unit on work, energy, and simple machines what, what equation relates, relates kinetic and potential energies using the law of conservation of energy? What equation? Anybody? And they still don't know. And this is the second take. <laughs> Mickey. K-E naught plus P-E naught. K-E naught. Here, I'll write it here. Can you see it? Yeah. Is it on the, is yeah. it on the film? Yeah. K-E naught. Plus P E naught is equal to K E uh, final plus P E final. K E final plus P E final. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yes? Now what we'll do, that's true, and that's an excellent. That means that the sum of the initial kinetic and potential energies has to equal the sum of the final kinetic and potential energies. Correct? Easy? Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to expand KE and PE, all right? So let's do that, all right? KE is what? One half MV naught squared. One half MV, five, MV naught squared. Plus MGH naught. Plus MGH naught. Equals one half. Equals one half. MV final squared plus MGH final. So it should be it should be it should be intuitive of you at least to understand what H is. You know the H initial and the H final. This is the H initial, 50 meters, and the H final is 30 meters, right? Okay. So now, is there anything that I can? Is there any way to reduce? the equation to a simpler form. What can I, what can I delete the from the mass? Now, think about it. 
What I do to the right, I do to the left. What I do to the left, I do to the right. Correct? Mm -hmm. If I divide the left by M, I'm dividing each term by M, aren't I? Yes. If I divide the right by M, yes. I'm going to divide each term by M. When this term is divided by M, the M's become 1, right? 1, right? Mm -hmm. right? So that's going to be 1. That's going to be 1. That's going to be 1. Right? Clear? Okay, now, let's, let's rewrite the usable equation. So it'll be 1 half. V naught squared. V naught squared. Plus GH naught. Plus GH naught. Is equal to 1 half V F squared. Plus GH final. GH final. Now, what is it that we have to... What is it that we have to solve for? The uh, bit, velocity final. Velocity final. So that's what we're going to solve for, the velocity final. So would you rather solve that equation and its variables for VF, or would you like me to plug in and reduce that equation further? Solve for the variable. Reduce it further. Reduce it further. You are outvoted. Okay. <laughs> So, what is V naught? What's V naught? V naught is what? Eight meters per second. You can leave off the unit labels if your V is in meters per second, your M is in kilograms. Do we need M? No, no. no we don't because the M's cancel. So, you see why you didn't need it? You want it, but you don't need it. Okay. H is in meters, so we're cool. Correct? Mm -hmm. As long as we put meters per second in for velocity, meters in for height, meters per second squared in for G, we're cool. Right? Mm -hmm. All right? So we can leave off the unit labels, make it look neater. All right? So this is going to be 1 half 8 squared plus 10 times what? 50. 10 times 50 equals what? 1 half. V final squared plus ten times thirty. Plus ten times thirty. Right? Yes. You are you with me so far? Yes. All right. You're with me. Yes. They're they're with me. Okay. Now get those calculators out. I always feel incredibly powerful when they take their calculators out. Do you know that these calculators are more advanced than the computer that sent the men to the moon? Unbelievable. <laughs> and I've got, I've got 14 of them working for me. Was it 12? Was it 12? I can count. 15. I've got 15 of those calculators working for me now. I mean, we could go to Mars today. We have enough computer power. Do you know that? Unbelievable. Do you know how much storage it would be to interpret everything in the human body relative to transporting somebody, like on Star Trek? 500, it would, they, the storage capacity would be equal, equal to 500 million Empire State Buildings. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. We don't have that much computing power, but we could go to Mars instead. Okay. So what is, let's reduce this. What is, what is one half of eight squared? What is it? 532. Yeah, we want to we want to slow down just a little bit. It's just 32. 32. I'm going to do it in red now. Is that okay? Make it more visual. Okay, so it's 32 plus 500. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. This is going to be one half VF squared plus 300. Are you there so far? Yes. You sure? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Now what I'm going to do is because we have limited, we have limited space. space because we're a very poor school district. <laughs> so we only have a limited amount of board space to work with. I'll erase some of this. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. This is going to be <clears throat> 500 plus 32 is. 532, sorry, equals what? 
one half VF squared plus 300. These guys are really good. You guys are good. Okay. So I'll erase that. So let's use the property of symmetry, combine terms, flip flop, and it magically becomes one half. VF squared equals 232. Are you with me? Now, what, what can we do with that one half? That looks a little bit spooky, a little scary. I can multiply both sides by 2. Excellent. Or divide both sides by one half. Same thing. Right? So I multiply 2 times 232. It becomes... It becomes VF equals VF squared equals... 464. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, what do we do now? Square root, Square root it. Excellent. So VF equals 21.6. Is that okay? Is that all right? Sure. You know, you don't want to have the significant figure police coming and arresting you for the abuse of significant figures. Okay. Not that I paid attention to them. But, you know, when in doubt, use two or three. It's fine. Okay? Yes? That's the problem. So that's going pretty fast. So how fast is that going? Multiply by, multiply by 3,600 and divide by 1,600. What is it? 48.6. So... I'm going to write right here, 48.6 miles per hour. That's crazy. That's pretty fast. That's really fast. You agree? Mm -hmm. You don't want to get hit by that cart. <laughs> How heavy was the cart? 300 kilograms? Yes. 300 kilograms? Yes. 300 kilograms, like, gosh, it's over 600 pounds. It's over like a, That's it's a well over a quarter ton. Can you imagine being hit by a quarter ton vehicle going 48 miles an hour? You know what they would call you? Mud. Yeah, they would call you mud. That's a heavy car. Yeah, it is. A lot of hot dogs. So many hot dogs. Now, how fast was it going? How fast? Can I erase this now? Are we done? Yes. We done? Okay, so that's the problem. Okay? Now, answer me this. How fast was it going? Down here, at the base of the hill, how fast was it going? How fast was it going at the base of the hill? How fast is it going right here? How fast is it going right there? We'll call it, we'll call it point C. Can you see that on the screen, point C? Yeah. Okay, we'll call it point C. How fast was it going? In other words, what are we finding now? Are we finding the final velocity or the initial? initial. initial. Same equation? Yeah, yeah. Same equation. Exactly. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so we'll, let's put the same equation on the board, shall we? So you have one half V naught squared plus GH naught. GH naught. One half VF squared. Plus GH final. Okay? Right? Easy? Correct? Now, I'm going to shut it off. You're going to redo, you're going to do this yourself, Sweet. and then we're going to come and see if we have the right answer, okay? Sweet. Clear? Fair? So do this problem right now. You do it at home too, okay? You can shut it off. <laughs>